What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. Hopping on to that ranked up ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are showcasing Ho-Oh. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. But Ho-Oh over here is probably one of the most underrated restricted mods in this game. I feel like there are a lot of better restricted mods that you can use, but Ho-Oh is definitely really, really strong when used right and definitely underrated. So getting started with this team in that top left corner, we're going to get started with the Pokemon we were just talking about, Ho-Oh. Regenerator ability, so every time we swap out of battle, we get HP when we come back in. Safety goggles as an item, and then we got Brave Bird and Sacred Fire, both for our stat moves. Recover. So we can recover up some HP and protect as our final move. This Pokemon is so good because it is so bulky and it has so many ways to recover HP with the Regenerator ability and recover as his move. So cannot wait to use that guy and show off him to his fullest potential. Right next to him is an Ultra Beast that we never really use, but he's a lot of fun to play with. We got Knock and Adele over here with the Beast Boost ability. Chewy Scarf as his item. He is Poison and Dragon typing with Sludge Wave, Draco Meteor, Flamethrower, and Thunderbolt. Love this Pokemon. Love that moveset. Cannot wait to use this guy on that rank ladder. Middle left is one of my favorite Pokemon. Pokemon to use and that is Screen's Grim Snarl over here. We got Prankster, Light Clay as its item, Light Screen, Reflect, Taunt, and Spirit Break. Absolutely love this guy. I feel like he can come in so many situations and just clutch up and help support the team. Right next to him is this Landorus with Cheer Force and Life Orb as his item. Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Psychic, and Protect. This thing hits like a truck and is definitely a huge threat on this team. Bottom left is Bisharp, a Pokemon that I don't really use a lot but he's very underrated and I absolutely love this guy. Defiant as his ability, Focus Sash as his item, Iron Head, Assurance, Protect, and Sucker Punch for that first turn priority. Final Pokemon, can you guys guess it? It's Rillaboom, yo. We use him in every Series 10 team because he is just so good. He's an absolute beast and he just rocks out in all situations. Fake Out for Flinch, Grassy Glide for Stab and first turn priority in the Surge, High Horsepower for Coverage, and Knock Off the Take Off items. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, you already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look for some wins with this Series 10 Ho-O team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Kai Ogre team. Looking really tough. Not liking it, not a big fan of it, but definitely got to get Grimstarl out here, potentially for the uh, screens to get all that set up. And I definitely want to bring Rolboom as a lead as well. I feel like he could be great there. So I'm going to lead them too. And do I actually lead the Grimstarl? He could bring in Tesserine, which could be tough for us. But yeah, let's go, actually, let's go knocking Adele as a lead. Just in case he does that, I can actually outspeed with Tree Scarf, and I have all those coverage moves to rock out and get after it. We're going to bring Ho-Oh in that back end, and then final Pokemon, I think we need Landers. I think we need Landers on this team, so let's get rocking out from there. But yo, before we hop into this first battle, I want to give a huge shout out to my partnership over at Into the AM. There is a link down in the description below that will give you 10% off all their products at store-wide. And if you guys want to use my code at checkout, it is jeans instead of using the link. You still get 10% off either way. But the quality of their products is amazing. The designs of their products are amazing. And their pricing is amazing as well. So definitely go check out that link. And let me know what you guys think of their products. But getting started here, this guy leads the Tornadus and the Kyogre combo. So we can actually go into a free Grassy Glide here, which I might do. Or I might just double down into Kyogre with a uh, Grassy Glide and a... Uh, and uh, a Thunderbolt. We could definitely do that. Because I could definitely see a swap coming in here from uh, Tesserine, right? Or do we think Kyogre is going to protect? So I might... Hmm. I think I'm going to glide here. I think I'm just going to glide right off the rip. And I am going to uh, Thunderbolt. Just in case uh, Tesserine comes in here from one of them. Or in case it protects. It kind of covers both of these uh, things right here. I'm really cool with that. I probably should double down into Kyogre. Let's see what he does here. I'm going to withdraw Kyogre. See, there it is. There's a uh, Serene swap. That's totally fine by me. I'm 100% fine by that. That is exactly why I want to go double side here. So, Grace God is going to get blocked. That's totally fine by me. But Thunderbolt, more importantly, is going to come out on this slot. And this thing has the Wakan Berry. I think he's rocking the Wakan Berry. He's probably going to get a free Tailwind set up, which is totally fine. I'm cool with that. We get some big damage off that. And we choice in a... Twisting a Thunderbolt, but we get a para, baby. We get a para, and he cannot move. So that is a huge turn for us. Gotta love it all around. Um, that said, I'm just gonna go for a knockoff, take off this thing's item, and then just Thunderbolt once again into this thing's slot, and maybe take a swap next turn. So let's see how this one's gonna play out here. I'm totally with all this. He's paralyzed again, yo. Get this fool out of my game. Double paralyze, yo. Not gonna know being OP in battle number one. Get the Tornadus out of here. So now we just wasting out these turns. Now we just wasting out these turns at this range. That's the one tough part about this, uh, this, what's it called? 
Oh, he goes for a triple axe. Eat buttery biscuit. We should be able to eat fine. But this is the one tough part about this series. Is weather is really, really hard to change. It's hard to change all around. So here goes our knockoff. We're going to try to take off the singles item right here. Bang. Give me that thing. What item was he rocking? Citrus berry. Yeah, so no HP for you. Get out of my face. I'm not dealing with you. But one problem is we cannot go for a grass fight. We do have Nagan Adele, who I really don't want to swap out. I like that special attack boost on him, but at the same time, I kind of want to do it because I want to switch my moves. But we'll see how this one plays out. Let's see who he goes into. I'm gonna end up going into Kyogre. I can definitely see him protecting here. Um, I could swap my boy here. Hey, get out, Ho oh, oh. No, it's not really too good. What do I want to do here? Definitely want a Thunderbolt. And if I see a big old protect coming out from him, which jeans one do? What I want to do here. I'm just going to go for another knockoff. Try to get off as much damage as I can. And pose that big threat with his Thunderbolt, right? I mean, I have to. I know he's going to protect, but I have to just in case, right? No, he does not. You'll see, that's exactly why I had to do it. Here goes big old Thunderbolt. Doing some big damage on that thing. Let's see what he goes to from here. He goes for a Water Spout, which isn't going to do a lot of damage. Considering we just did a good, good chunk to him. And that move is based off of HP, so that is huge turn for us. I think Triple Axel is going to fly through here again off the real boom. Nope, he's going to slide over to Nagana Adele, who might be able to eat this one. Nope, he's not going to be able to eat that one. So, okay. Let me be pretty close here. How should we go into this one? How should we do this one? Here comes another uh, knockoff here. Just going to get some damage onto this thing, which I'm totally cool with. So he doesn't have the Citrus Berry. Everyone's recovering HP here, and I think I'm going to have to bring out the... uh I bring out... This is tough. Because I cannot Grass God. I can't just take out that, uh... I can't just take out that, uh, Kyogre here. I think I gotta go into you. Who's faster? That's my question. I think it's gonna come out speed. 168 should be able to outspeed the Kyogre, I'm thinking. So, might have to double down into that Pokemon. Make sure it goes away. Might have to be my turn. Might have to be Gene's turn here. Let's see how this one plays out. Because if we can get rid of this Kyogre, we can pretty much be sitting in a pretty spot here. Uh, I guess we'll go for another knockoff. Their best bet... The best bet. We'll, we'll go Kyogre and then I will go. I think Kyogre again. What am I going to do here? What other Pokemon does he have here? I mean, I'd rather go for my stab move. So we're going to double down here. We're going to double down into Kyogre here. Try to get rid of this Pokemon. He's going to end up with Drawn Kyogre. Hopefully, he doesn't go into a flying Pokemon. Urshfu's going to come out here. And I'm totally cool with that. I'm cool with that all day. We'll double down into this Pokemon. Try to get rid of him. Earth Power flies through. Bink. Do some damage on this boy. Oh my. Oh my lord. Bring him down to the Sash. That's a huge turn for us. Bring this thing down to the sash. And Triple Axel is going to fly through here and take out our Rillaboom. He's going to end up taking out Rillaboom, which I'm, I'm fine with. Oh, he only gets off one turn. He only hits him once. Yo, that is huge for us. Yo, RNG finally working it in our favor. He got three hits the last two times, and he finally gets a one hit there. That is huge. Keeps our Rillaboom alive. And now we're sitting pretty. We're sitting real well here. But what do I think he's going to do? I think he's going to protect Kyogre, but I cannot, like, just let that go, you know? I cannot just let Kyogre, like, go unprotected. He's too good for that. He's way too good for that. I could swap and get the fake out going, but he won't do anything with, the, with that Tesserino on the field. So, again, I'm going to double down into Kyogre. I'm going to double down. I need to get rid of this Pokemon. He has not protected all game. Let's see what he's going to do. Nope, does not protect. This thing's rocking Grassy Guy. This thing's rocking Grassy Guy, bro. Ah, uh, what a play. Just knowing Rillaboom's so, like, huge in this. But here comes a water spot. I think we should be able to eat this up. And of course we don't. Of course we don't. This thing KOs me. Even when it's below half HP with water spot. Nuts. Rain finally stops. And it comes down to Ho-Oh. And can Ho-Oh be the man? Can he be the man here? <laughs> There's a slim possibility here. But I think he could potentially do it. He is very, very bulky. Very bulky. But of course, that water spout takes me out. That's rough, man. I wouldn't expect the water spout to take me out. I thought I was going to do big damage, but I was just like, oh, it's uh, it's based off his HP, and he's really low on HP. Well, not really low, but he was decently low. Low enough, you, you know? Low enough. But I think we have to get after this Kyogre. We can't have this Kyogre sitting here. If I can get rid of this Kyogre in this shot, which I don't know if we can, because oh, it doesn't hit too hard. It was just super bulky. Water spout comes out here. There's no rain. His HP is low. We're able to eat up. We're able to bulk up a little bit. We do have recover ready to go here. And here comes my Brave Bird. But mm, we need to take him out here. It's a must. It's a must. We need to take him out here. We do. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. So we know we outspeed that thing. We just need to be able to eat up this triple axle, right? Eat up. 
think we got this. I think we got this easy eats. We're bulky enough. We are bulky enough. All right. Raper coming out for the win. No need to recover. We could actually recover. But I think Brave Bird coming out for the win is just it's just where it's at, right? Let's finish up this battle. Brave Bird coming out for the win. Right here, baby. Do it. Brave Bird for the win. Ho oh, oh. Clutching up in battle number one. Run it, baby. Run it. Battle number one goes to your boy. Our Ho-Oh is going to end up dying here. But, hey, we got that ourselves that win. Ho-Oh comes in that back end, clutches us up, and we start off today's video 1-0. This second battle is going to be nuts. This guy is in the Krosma team. I was not expecting that at all. So cannot wait to face off against this guy and see what power he has to bring. He also has the Tapu Lele, Ditto, the Kingdra Polito combo, and then finally Tornadus. Okay, let's rock out here. I think I'm going to lead. Who do I want to lead here, yo, dude? The Krosma is sick. And then he has a Ditto, which is kind of scaring me. I just don't know what he's going to be able to do with that. But I'm going to lead the Grimstar. I'm going to start, start by setting up screens and whatnot. Um... I'm going to go Grimstarl, and I might go Basharp. Basharp could be pretty cool here. Or I could go Rillaboom. Rillaboom's not a bad lead here either, so. Hmm, what's the genius one do? Or I could go Knockin' Adele. I really did like having Knockin' Adele here. Hmm. Let's go Landers. Let's actually go Landers, Ho-Oh, and Knockin' Adele. I'm digging it, right? I'm really digging it. Let's run it. Let's run it. I'm really digging that. I definitely gotta get a Pasharp in the third final battle because I love that Pokemon so much and I feel like it's a great all round Pokemon that doesn't get love enough. So definitely we're gonna show him off in that third and final battle. But yo, that first battle was a solid battle. We were able to beat a Kai Ogre team with a Ho-Oh team. So that shows a lot. We played really, really well there. Ho-Oh definitely underrated, was able to eat up some shots and win us the battle. But let's see what he goes into. He goes into Kingtra and Necrozma and this buttery biscuit over here. I totally forget what, the, what his typing is. Um, let me go see it. Let me go check it out. This is a Pokemon you never see. This is a Pokemon like this would be like the last Pokemon I would expect to see, and it's just Psychic. Okay, I thought it was. I knew it was Psychic. I didn't know if it was Psychic and Steel. This does look very Steel-like, right? But we're gonna set up a nice, lovely little light screen here, and then I think we might just pop an EP. Let's just pop an EP, right? Let's just pop an EP here. Nice little Earth Power. We're getting after Necrozma. See how this one plays out. We're gonna set up a light screen, and then I'm able to go after or go with spirit breaks after this, which is huge. But probably not anymore. He withdrawed for that reason and that reason only. Or he's going for expanding forces. Hey, yo, this guy's gotta knock it off. This dude's gotta knock it off. <laughs> expanding forces, bro. Such a good move. Especially when you don't see it coming like this. But light screen is getting set up. I can totally go for a spirit break next turn and drop a special attack so he doesn't hit us as hard as he, he wants to. But it's good to know that my uh, my Pokemon do outspeed him all day. But that's huge. Goes for an expanding force. And it does not affect Grimstarl. But it's going to hit up on my lander. So I don't like that one bit. Hopefully he eats up. He's able to eat up all day. Hey, yo. We eating out here. We know we outspeed him. Unless that thing is Choice Scarf. So I might. I just might double down into him. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to double down into him. Just in case he, he outspeeds my uh, Grimstarl. And he ends up protecting him. You know Or just in case the top of Lele does outspeed me. But of course top of Lele doesn't. He gets off a huge protect here. It's double turns, and let's see what Lele's gonna do. Lele is just gonna Psychic, and I think my Pokemon should be able to eat this up anyway, right? Oh. Oh. Ooh, that's rough. That's rough, but hey, Landers did a good job. I think we're thriving here. We still have our Light Screen out and about. Um, and then I could just bring in Ho-Oh. And save my Knockin' Adele for the back. That is my play. We will save, we will save our beautiful Knockin' Adele for the back end. We'll bring Ho-Oh in right about now, and... How do I want to do this? I think I'd rather go for a Spirit Break on the U. To be honest, just get that special attack drop. And then just take a fire over onto Necrozma and roll out from there. Oh, with this, he is going to end up withdrawing Necrozma and go back out into Kingdra or Politoed to come out here. Politoed is going to come out back out here. Politoed's Drizzle is out and about. That is huge up against the Ho-Oh. And Swift Swim is going to be able to come out here later in the match and do some work. Going to end up dropping a Psychic onto the bird. Bird's going to be able to eat up all day. And you get that huge special defense drop. That's whacked. Take a fire throw goes through here. Not gonna do a lot of damage, and Polito is gonna be able to eat that up all day. And we get a burn though. We get a burn. We'll take that. We'll take that burn all day on a on a water frog. We take that all day. Spirit breaks in the fly through here. Do a decent amount of damage, but more importantly, get that special uh, attack drop. I'm really digging that. And I'm just gonna look to chip away these two Pokemon here. We still have our lovely knocking it down. I'm really liking. It. I'm really liking knocking it down. But at the same time, I'm not. Uh, let's go for another spirit break here. And I think I'm just going to recover. I think I'm just going to recover and keep getting after stop it later. He's going to end up with you on the Politoed and getting out the uh, Necrozma again. That's totally fine by me. 
and the crossbow is back here back out and about that's what he's gonna fly through here and you're minus one so i'm liking this all day considering we have that light screen still set up the cover's gonna pop out here we're gonna go back up to full hp and we're gonna uh start wasting out these rain turns but still has polytoed in the back i'm not i'm not really liking where we're sitting but this is a solid battle solid battle spirit break flies through here it's gonna end up bringing that thing down to one but more importantly getting that drop on that thing and we're at full hp we're sitting really nice here the so spirit break can fly I'm gonna take you out, and then I think I'm just gonna take your, take your fire, take you out. I want it all day. I want all the smoke. I want all the smoke. Second's gonna come through here. This is gonna be easy eats. He's minus two. Thank you for the tasty snack. And we have a light tree set up. Bandit Force gonna fly through here. Does not affect Grim Snarl. And we should be able to eat this one up just as well, right? Easy eats, baby. Easy eats. Ho Ho is just soaking up. Soaking it up. Take a fire. Fly through here. Beautiful. Top of Lele gets out the battle. And then we're just gonna end up taking out both these guys here. But what I want to do here, I'm trying to think, what should I do here? I'm trying to think what I should do here. Because he has the Politoed coming out here and the uh, and the Kingdra. The Politoed and Kingdra is out here. Um, I have Ho-Oh sitting here who's going to get absolutely dumped on. So that is not good. We only have Knock and Adele in the back. So I'm trying to think what we can honestly do here. I'm thinking of potentially protecting the Ho-Oh. And I have to get off a special a special attack jump, right? I'm protect you. Let's see what he does. Let's see what his play is. Helping hands can come through here. Go after my hoe. I need to see him go after my hoe. I think he's gonna go after my Grim Snarl here, so I think protect wasn't a good call. I don't think it was. Unless you do it. Go ahead, go after my hoe. Muddy oh muddy water comes through. Okay, so it was a good protect. I need my Grim Snarl to eat, and I think he should be able to with that light screen up. I don't know, rain's about out and about. Nope, dude, that thing is too good. He gets a crit! What you mean? No, no, yo, that is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. He gets a crit when he needs it. I need to eat that up. He needs to get that KO. That is the wackest thing I have ever seen. I kid you not. I kid you not. This game is not on my side right now. Get it out of here, yo. Get that crap out of my face. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. <laughs> Uh, best move to probably go into is going to be a Draco Meteor. Hopefully, potentially we outspeed here. And uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna go for recover here. If I can get off of recover, that could be big because I think Rain ends next turn unless this thing has the rock. Who's gonna go first? Helping hands can come out here. He is Swift Swim, but we are Choice Scarf. Let's see. Come on, Choice Scarf. Doom Dirty. Nope. Muddy Water comes through here. Not gonna Dell. Yo, know, Draco Meteor and finish this thing off. So, Not gonna Dell is able to eat. Draco Meteor, I think, is gonna take this thing out here. Oh, he gets an act drop. Yo, of course he gets an act drop. And now I'm going to miss my Draco Meteor. Yo, watch. watch. Watch how dumb this game is. Nah, this one's over. We run it. I'm done. I'm out of here. Peace out, boys. I swear, the RNG in this game is the worst thing ever put on this planet. Like, how do he get that crit, first of all? And then he gets the accuracy drop. And then I miss my Draco Meteor. We had a couple of shots to actually win that game. If my Draco Meteor hits there, it takes out... That Kingdra, no problem. And then it just becomes a 1v1 with me and Polytoad, which I definitely think we could have won with that one. But it's all good. I ended up running that battle. We're sitting at 1-1, one one, hopping into our third and final battle. And we're going up against a team that we just showcased. So hopefully this is a viewer. Maybe check out my video. I got the rental code. So if he's watched the video, definitely shout out to you, my man. But uh, he's got the Zekrom. Um, I definitely want to probably go into Grimstarl. Get on with that. Knocking the Dell's not bad here either. Hopefully Knocking the Dell could be solid. Uh, who do I think he's gonna go into? I could go Grimstrong into ho oh as a solid lead. Bring Nagana Dell in the back end, and then my boy Basharp? And then my boy Basharp? As much as I want Rillaboo. Actually, let's, uh... Let's withdraw you. Let's go Basharp, let's go Rillaboo, and then can I lock in Nagana Dell? Your boy ran out of time. Let's see what they give us. Let's see what they give us. We'll work with it. We'll work with it. I definitely want my Basharp. Hopefully I get, get a nice lead. But, yo, I, I was thinking about it. I was like, yo, I need Rollboom. I need Rollboom. So, hopefully they gave us Rollboom. And we get rocking out in this third and final battle. But, bro, we played that second one so good. I had to get up from my chair and leave that one. That was just too whack, man. He goes Mammoth Swine and Talonflame, which is totally fine. So, I know he has a quick card. We know he has a quick card. We're going to go Ho-Oh and not going to go. Okay, I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it all day. Might set up a Tailwind, and he cannot go for a ground move. Actually, he can on my Nagan Adele, but I know he's sashed. But we're going to get the burn on him, and I might just go for a Sludge Wave. Considering he hits both, but nah. Thunderbolt could be decent here as well. I choose to a Thunderbolt. I know it moves the Rockin'. I know it moves the Rockin', so 
I'm just gonna go into a Thunderbolt here. I'm choice into that. And if I have to swap later, I will. It does have Icicle Crash, which, which is a little scary on me, but I think we should be fine here. I'm gonna set up the Tailwind, that's the real question. What is he gonna do? He can't Quick Guard. He does not set up a Tailwind, that's huge. That's huge. We go here, this might be able to KO him. Get him out of here. Get him out, first turn. Get this dude out of here. We know what items he's rolling. We know you're not Sash. And what was he going for? What was he going? He, he had to be going for a Flare Blitz there. I still Crash comes out here. We're probably going to go KO for KO here. And we're going to bring the Mammoth Swine down to a Sash, I think. Right? Is that fair? Yeah. That's fair. I'm cool with it. So now, uh, I don't even know who my other two Pokemon are, first of all. Take a Fire's going to come out here. Do some big old damage on this boy. Bring him down to Sash. All right. Good work. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. Imagine I get the burn. That could have been huge. Could have been a huge burn. But we have Grimstarl and Landers. Okay. I'm cool with it. But Sharp's not going to be seeing this video. But it's all good. But Sharp is an all around awesome Pokemon. We're really here just to show off Ho Oh. But we're going to bring out uh, our. Uh... Oh, dang. I really want to knock him out for that thing and that thing only. So he has Thunder. So... And he is physical attacking. These guys are both physical attacking. So I'm just going to set up that Reflect Turn 1. And I think I'm just going to protect the Ho Oh. Check to oh and just set up that reply. That is my turn, baby. That is my turn. That's 100% my turn. The so reflect gonna get out here. He's definitely gonna try to drop one of those, uh, what was it, the bolt strikes on the ho oh. So definitely gotta watch out for that. And I wonder what Mammoth Swine's going for. Maybe he'll double down in my ho. -Oh. That could be huge. That could be a huge protect here. Let's see how this one plays out. And if we have a sharp chill in here, this could be this could be nice. But I really wanted my knock and Adele for that second round, but we ended up going one for one. So I think we can kind of get ourselves out of this situation and win this battle still. So this is still really, really close. We have the reflect out and about. Here goes the icicle crash over onto Grimstarl. And I think the bull strike is gonna come into my home, right? It's gotta be. It's gotta be 100 percent Right? Bull strike comes out. Get blocked. Okay, so we get a huge block there. I definitely want to try to go for a spirit break over onto uh uh do I keep the mammoth swine in? I just have Ice Shard, so I might just go here. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go for a Spear Break over on the Zach Yeah, this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. Ice will Crash come through here. Again, we should be able to eat up no problem. And I think he should go for the same turn. I know he's going to double down in the ho -Oh. That's totally fine by me. He's going to double down in the ho -Oh, Get the pull strike going. And he's definitely dead. Here. He's definitely dead. No problem whatsoever. Thing hits like a truck. Thing hits like an absolute truck. And I haven't seen that move miss once. It's 85 action, but it's like base 130 damage, which is nuts. We know this thing is life orb. We know exactly what kind of team this thing is rocking. And we're going to drop a nice big old spirit break on this Pokemon and get off some nice damage. We get off some lovely little damage over there. And now we're bringing out big guns, which is Lando. So I could protect the Lando, which I might end up doing. Because he has to go for a dragon move on me. He can't go for another. I don't think he's going to go for a bull strike, so... I'm gonna end up protecting and I am gonna end up finishing off this Mammoth Swine. Or I can finish off the Zekron. What do I wanna do? What do I wanna do here? Who's posing a bigger threat? Let's go, let's take out the Zekron, yo. Let's get the Zekron out of our game. Let's get this Zekron out of my game. And I think Lando can outspeed the Mammoth Swine so I can take him out next turn. Unless he's just going for a simple Ori Shard. So. Let's see what the play is here. Let's see what the play is. There's no way he's reading my protect. No way my man's reading the protect. Let's see this one. Protect comes out from Lando. Ah, put up a nice little shield. Let's see how this guy plays this one out. Amazon goes for Ice Oak Crash. Get blocked. Get blocked. He's going for another Bull Strike. He's going for Dragon Claw. Block. Yo, huge block for us. Spear Break's going to be able to fly through here. Taking out Zekrom. Potentially. Probably. Right? Correct? Yes, sir. Get him out of my game. All right, not bad so far. Not bad here. Definitely watching out for this Mammo here. Mammo is a beast, and I want to see what Pokemon he is going to go into. Definitely want to see what Pokemon he's going to go into. Tapu Finny is coming out here. I do not like that one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. So I think I have to go into a Spirit Break over onto that thing to get that special attack drop. It's going to be big. And then we do have Sludge Bomb ready to rock, but I have to take out Mammoth Swine right here. Uh, what has higher accuracy? Both really good on accuracies. I mean, I think he's down to one. We might as well just go for a Sludge Bomb. Go for a Sludge Bomb, and then I am just going to go into the top of Finny with this uh, Spirit Break. 
So I'm hoping that Landorus actually outspeeds a Mammoth Swine. That could be big for us. It does. Huge turn for us. We get rid of that Pokemon. Now it just comes down to a 2v1 situation here. With that Tapu Fini going to be minus one. Oh, wow. Muddy Water came out first. I thought Grimstar would outspeed. Here comes Muddy Water. We should be able to soak it up. Easy eats, baby. Easy eats all day. That's a huge eat. We actually might be able to eat up the next one, considering he is going to be minus one. So I'm really liking that. So there's Spirit Break there. Getting off some damage. Light Screen is still out and about. Actually, we don't have a Light Screen setup. What am I doing? We don't have a Light Screen setup. We just have a Reflect, right? And I think this whole time we had Light Screen set up. Yeah, we just have a Reflect. Well, at least he had a bunch of physical attackers out there. I'm just going just gonna to drop a Sludge Bomb. And now I'm going to set up this Light Screen. I ain't dealing with it. I'm not letting another Muddy Water kill me. We're, we're potentially going to need two turns out from this, uh, from this, uh, Landers here. Yeah, let's run it. Let's run it. Sludge Bomb. Take it out. I think Sludge Bomb could take it out, too. Makes it down to one. Muddy Water. We should be able to eat. We should be able to eat this on up all day, right? Correct? Light Queen and he's minus one. Did he get a crit? Did he just get a crit on my Landers? What did I just say? This RNG is the worst thing on this planet Earth. Worst thing on planet Earth. I swear. There's like... Here's, here's the tier list. It goes like bees, wasp, really high up there because nobody likes wasp. And then it's like RNG and Pokemon Sword and Shield. Right above wasp. It is awful. They might, they're probably even above hornets. That's how bad it is in this game. So whack. That is so dumb. You get another crit on me. You get another crit on me. Now he's just going to keep recovering HP with his leftovers. But hopefully my spirit breaks can just keep going and pestering him down and win us the battle. Because I had that all set up. I was like, we're going to set up a light screen. We're going to get the special attack drop so he can't kill my landers in one shot there. So we, we were supposed to survive an extra turn there. But come to find out, he, he just lands crits on command. He just he just gets lucky crits. Moonblast going to fly out here. And I'm able to eat. I'm able to eat, which is huge. I'm just going to keep dropping. I thought he was going to get another crit there, dude. I was going to lose my cool. But Spirit Break comes out there, picks up the KO, and we grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. RNG was not on our side today. We ended up winning the first battle, losing the second battle to RNG, in my opinion. He gets ourselves a huge crit there, which takes out my Pokemon and wins in the battle. And then third and final battle, he gets a little bit of RNG on his side, but we outskilled him and outplayed him for that victory. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.